but um, it is like a lot of religions. It, I, it's I, very, very... I do get that a lot, but other religions will not charge you as like a quarter of a million pounds to get to the top. If you go into a mosque or a church and you ask the person there what their religion is about, they will tell you everything for free. They might even give you the, you know, the Bible or the Quran or whatever. If you go into the Church of Scientology, you'll have to do course and work your way up this thing called the bridge and all the things that they promise you are just complete and utter lies. And, you know, high-level people are leaving because when they get to the top, the things that are promised... American, isn't it? Well, it's certainly bigger <laughs> in America than it is over yeah, here. Yeah, I you think know. English people are probably less gullible. I would, yeah, I would but I think it's a very good thing that you're doing. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I do. I think it's a very good... I think it's a shame you have to wear masks. I think the British government should investigate it if that's the case, if they actually... Well, I mean, there was, a, there was a stage, I think, in the 60s where all Scientologists were actually banned for coming in this country for yeah. a while. Well, they um, should be banned again, then, shouldn't I, they? Yeah. I mean, the thing is, we've got nothing against the belief system. It's these crimes, abuses, and illegal activities that the church commits. Well, well, that's part of what they... For the, part, part of the belief system. Well, it's, it's, it's all kind of tied up quite uh, complicatedly. But, you know, it's, it, you know, people can believe what they want, but it, it's the... You should one of those masks and, I don't know, throw one at it. <laughs> No, we're anyway, nice to, yeah, yeah. nice to talk nice to you. Nice to talk with you. Have a nice good weekend, guys. You do me. Stay away from Scientology pigeons. They did. Just stay away. Oh, we have Scientology, guys. I take you to the you. Thank you very much, sir. Mm. And you need more courses before the things they promise come true, and then you get to the top, and there's no further to go. Then what happens? Hello, sir. How are you doing? Oh, why is Scientology bad? Scientology is dangerous and bad for a number of reasons. Um, started by a science fiction writer, quoted saying best way to make a million dollars would be to start your own religion. Um, he basically, Scientology, what it does is it offers you something like a free personality test or a free stress test. Um, they take you in, whatever happens, you'll have problems. They will then basically try and amplify those problems, make you feel really bad, and then sell you Scientology courses. Um, basically, what happens is the courses are all part of a very sort of um, uh, coerced form of um, hypnosis and brainwashing. So the more you do it, the more kind of involved you'll become, um, and eventually you'll believe that whatever happens, Scientology is genuinely working for you. They charge you a lot of money, and when you're inside, they convince you that without Scientology, you'll amount to nothing. So a lot of people actually commit suicide um, when they leave. There's cases, even like one last year, uh, of someone who took his own life who was heavily involved, and they all harass people, there's, you know, 17 missed calls like an hour before the guy takes his own life and stuff like that. Um, they extort people for money. Uh, there's a famous case, Lisa McPherson, which is on the card I gave you. Um, basically, they kept this woman in a room with no food or water for 17 days. Um, a lot of other people have lost their lives. They disconnect families, um, so people can't get in touch with their, you know, mothers, fathers, siblings and whatnot, because the church has said you have to disconnect from your entire family because they don't support Scientology. They attack their critics suppress free speech um, and are a very litigious group who have ruined many people's lives. Um, but, you know, the key thing to do is just have a look for yourself. By all means, have a look on their website. Um, I personally think that their viewpoints are a bit nutty, but, um, you know, take a look from both sides of the story. But do understand that it's not the belief system we have a problem with, although, as I said, I do think it's a little uh, bizarre. Um, it's, it's the crimes and abuses that they do. And I don't think people are aware when they go by for their free test exactly what they could potentially be getting into. So that's why we're here, just to raise a bit of awareness uh, and keep them off the streets for a couple, for a couple of hours. Cool. Why are you wearing V-Masks? We wear masks to protect our identities. Um, they have a fair game policy, so anyone who just doesn't believe in Scientology can be considered an enemy. The fair game policy states these people can be lied, tricked, sued or destroyed under any means necessary. Um, and they will, they do harass members of uh, Anonymous. They have, you know, it's, it's been going on for a long, a long while now, this like over two years. Um, so it is, you know, it's getting harder and harder for them to sort of track everyone down. So is they, it, is they, it nothing to do with the uh, Alan Moore brief in depth? Um, well, I mean, the thing is, we, we're, we're part of a group called Anonymous, so everyone has, like, wants to hide their identity, yeah. you know, for obvious reasons. Um, and it's just a mask of choice. Really? So, there you go. Any questions, guys? Or um, you can indeed, <laughs> mate. Yeah, go on then. Can we say someone told us a prick, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, they actually lied. They called the police uh, a couple of weeks ago and said that I'd been swearing. Really? Um, and then we sort of pointed out that everything was being filmed, and then they decided to drop the uh, the allegation. Um, but no, that, that would probably be a little too far. We just say we hate Scientology. 
you, you, you can you can shout at them, but no, not through the megaphone, mate. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, get the police out again. So. Scientology! Yeah, good man. Anyway, guys, good luck if you try and find the Forbidden Planet. I don't know where it is, but that's that's the general direction. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank yeah. you. All right. Are you recording for YouTube or personal? Uh, I record for well, I record everything basically because if they don't pull up the police and lie, um, I've got evidence, you know, also yeah, yeah. harass and stuff. Uh, but I do put stuff on YouTube eventually. Um, I'm just trying to trim it down. So, but, yeah. Anyway, that's very good. Take care of yourself, guys. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Hello mate. Hi man. How are you doing? Good time. Yeah. Do so these sound like the actions of the most ethical people on the planet? Of course not. Everything that the Church of Scientology claims to be is a lie and a fabrication to serve their own malign purposes. How are you meant to clear the planet guys if you're hiding behind a bookcase? This is not KSW. L1 Hubbard would be spinning in his grave if it wasn't for the fact you got rid of the body to hide up all the psych drugs. Does it not bother you that David Miscavige beats up church members? Do you not think something's wrong with the fact that you have your RPF camps? When you got into Scientology, is this how it's meant to be improving your life? Hiding behind a bookcase? When people aren't outside protesting, trying to get more people in to tell them that they have problems, to then sell them your courses and books, the ramblings and nonsense of a science fiction writer, the reason that your buildings are so empty all across the planet is because people are beginning to understand what you're about. Get rid of your disconnection policy, get rid of David Miscavige, replace him with someone who doesn't beat up people. Remove your fair game policy and your pitiless nature and the other things that we protest against and we all go. Thank you very much, sir. Scientology is a criminal enterprise. Started by a science fiction writer because he was fed up getting paid a penny a word. Writing comic books. Larry Anderson woke up, guys. The face of Scientology has blown. He figured out the fact that you release the basic books four times and make everyone buy them is just a money-making scheme, a sign of the corruption of your church management. More money extorted from your so-called members. Speaking of which, you've obviously claimed to have 8 million members, but the last US census only show about 25,000 in the United States. 